right here that we need to unbox and assemble together today. So we are gonna do that. Let me get all of my streams going real quick. And this is a package that is for this new room that you guys have never been in. This is a, it's gonna be a Bon Vivo desk, uh, writing desk. Uh, this is, this room that we're in is a new office, which I'm very excited to show you guys whenever we get this whole thing set up and whatnot. We just got it like a couple of days ago. So I'm very excited to show you guys uh, this whole setup whenever we get everything all done. Listen, let me make sure I got all of my stream stuff right here. I think I'm good. And so let's, uh, let's get our knife. We got our Mike Vance knife right there. Thank you, Mike, for sending me this knife. We're going to open up this box right here. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? Thanks for coming and hanging out the live stream. So let's see what's, what we have in here. Thank you to Bon Vivo for partnering with us so that we could uh, do this unboxing and assembly video with you guys. Um, it is awesome that they're able to hook us up like that so we can show you guys. We actually have a very similar desk. I think it's similar. It may not be the exact same, but we have a similar one uh, in our son's room. And so we figured that it would be a good one to have in the office as well. So. Let me get the whole thing detapified so we can get this thing out of here. Honestly, I'm trying to remember like everything that's in here. Is there so much? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh oh, oh, oh. Got more tape. Hang on. Hang on. Open that up. They do a really good job too of packaging this so that it doesn't get damaged in shipping. So we have that. We got cardboard on the side. We have the uh, styrofoam all the way around so that you can easily remove that and it keeps everything nice and packaged nicely. You have this nice paper foam stuff right there to keep everything nice and uh, scratch free. Some wooden blocks right here, actually, wooden uh, slats right there. I'm gonna get closer to you guys once we get everything out of here. Let's see, this is our instructions right there, customer service stuff. If I remember correctly, this is pretty easy to put together too. So you have your two legs right here. I really like the color of this. It's almost like a, a bamboo style of color right there. I think it looks really nice, nice light color. So we have all of that. And then you have this uh, slat right here as well, just like that. So you got a few different slats here. I can't, I'm trying to figure out, are y'all, y'all here? Question mark. So I'm doing a thing on uh, Amazon as well. This is Amazon, but I'm piping it through here, but I'm supposed to be able to see the chat right here. And I'm assuming this is the chat. I'm just not too sure. So I'm going to keep an eye on that as well for all you guys watching on Amazon. Let's see, we have more styrofoam here. We got more styrofoam here. Styrofoam. Okay, this is all of our uh, hardware right here. It comes in this nice red bag, so you can't miss it. You won't accidentally throw it away, which is important. Uh, let's see. More styrofoam, styrofoam, all the styrofoam. More styrofoam. Okay, this right here is kind of the creme de la creme. I love this part about this uh, this desk. Hang on, let me get to it. In just a second to remove all the styrofoam. This right here, it's a beautiful glass top that fits on the top of the desk. And underneath, it just has all these little uh, uh, screws right here to be able to screw it in because there's uh, an under desk, if you will, and then there's this that sits on top. So I'm very excited to get that installed as well. Put that down on the floor over there while we get rid of everything else in here. Let's get rid of all that. We have another, uh, another slat right here. 
to be able to see this is the shorter one and this is the longer one. I can't remember if this one goes in the back and these are on the side, I believe, or something like that. So we'll get to that. You gotta figure all this out. And then this right here is the under section of the desk. So you'll have this, your legs will be connected on the bottom here. And then that glass piece will sit on top by about yay, yay, yay much. <laughs> I don't know how much that is. Probably like three, four, maybe five inches. So that should be perfect. And I think the rest of this is just stuck. Yeah, it's all stuck. Okay, so let's get all of this. Let me get a little cleanup going on. Let's get up all this in here. I need like a cleanup helper. <laughs> All right, do like that. Take this, close this up. Push it on over there. Nice butt shot, huh? <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's get our directions here. Your directions are just basically a giant piece of paper here back in the front with just diagrams. There's no words on there. It tells you step one, step two, all the way up to step seven, so seven steps. And then they have a parts list and a hardware list on the back right here. So it's super cool that they uh, give you everything there that you're gonna need. Let's see. All right, so let's move that to the side. And we're gonna start with these right here. This is D and E. And if you guys have any questions for me while we're putting this together, feel free to leave it into the chat and I'll be happy to uh, answer. If you have questions about this uh, desk or about me or anything like that, I'm always an open book for you guys. So we have all these little uh, cam screws right here that we're gonna have to use. We have some, looks like some wood screws in there with some little felt pads for the feet. We have some uh, bolts right there with an Allen wrench. We have, uh, these are little covers uh, to put where the uh, bolt is to kind of hide the bolt. It's made to look like the wood. This right here are dowels and more little felt covers. I believe these are black, so they're made for at the top of the uh, desk here. And then you have your longer uh, bolts and uh, screws right there with another Allen wrench. So that's all the hardware that it takes. And for this one, we need to start off with these two slats. We are looking at, let's see, that is number two. Our parts list is gonna be these cam screws right here. So these guys right here are what we're gonna need first. I just realized y'all cannot see all that. Let's do this. There we go. <laughs> all right, so. Let's start with this one, flip that one, flip that one. And we have two holes on either side. Take out our cams. Our screws. I did not grab a screwdriver. I should probably go and get that real quick, huh? What do y'all think? Do I need a screwdriver for this? <laughs> probably so. Yeah, this is gonna take a screwdriver. All right, we gotta go get one. Come on, let's go on a little adventure into the shed. And we'll get us a screwdriver real quick. Hopefully we don't lose our internet connection. I don't think we will. All righty. Very excited about that building right there. It's, like I said at the top of the show, it's very, very new for us. Um, let's see, let's go with this guy. And just in case, maybe this guy. Make sure we have the right point. All right. Looking good. All right. Let's go back into our office. It's fun being able to say that. An office. I have an office. <laughs> so if y'all don't know, most of my videos were shot in the house, in the kitchen slash dining room. It's kind of like one big room. And so now it's nice to have this as a good shooting area, especially whenever I'm like putting stuff together and whatnot. All right. So, Bomb Devo desk. Here we go. Let's see. Um, that actually fits pretty well. We'll use this one right here. 
So I'm just gonna screw that one on in. Another thing that I like, do, uh, I like doing these live streams for you guys is that this uh, shows you how long it takes, at least it takes me, to be able to put this thing together. And if you wanted to, you could replay the live stream and you can, uh, you can follow along with my installation if, uh, if you have one that you're looking to put together. So hopefully I'll find these helpful if you decide to buy the product. By the way, I put a link to this uh, down in the description or comments or whatever below. If you guys do want to check it out, it is an affiliate link and you can buy it on Amazon. So if you need a good little desk, maybe for your, your kids to do homework on, or you just want to have a nice one for uh, an office that you might have, you know, a lot of people working remote these days, you can get a nice desk like this for your house to be able to, uh, to be able to have a little office area for yourself. All right, we got D and E, and then we're gonna put that into the long G. This one's F, this is G, I believe. Yes, that is G, okay? So this goes in, we have these holes right here. We're gonna put those cams into there that came with those screws. Just drop them in. Make sure the open part is towards the hole. It just simply goes in like that. And then we're gonna lock it in using uh, those right there. So let me go ahead and drop all of these in first and then we'll take it from there. Boom. And Boom, that in, boom, all right. And you just take this, kind of plug and play that like that. And we need our screwdriver. We're just gonna turn the cam. I like to kind of get them turned just right, just a little bit. And then after I'm gonna kind of go through and tighten up everything to make sure everything's nice and tight. And uh, I usually like to get a bigger screwdriver for that as well, just to make sure that everything's uh, solidly put in there. You know what? I didn't look at if this is correct because this one might, I'm pretty sure, yep, this one goes over here. We gotta take this one out. I flipped them the wrong way. You gotta look at the bottom side here. It's got kind of this rough texture and this is a smooth texture. So you wanna make sure it matches because this is smooth texture right here. And this is rough texture right here. So let me go ahead and undo this one right here just by turning the cams. We're gonna pull that out. This one, and now we have rough on rough and smooth on smooth. And let me turn this cam that way. Like that, and like that. Okay. That, and now we're gonna do this side, just like this, and make sure this is still going. Yeah, that's still going. Hey, David, how's it going? Thanks for following, definitely appreciate that. On Amazon, I appreciate you clicking that follow button. Hope you like what we're doing here on the Dad Reviews of helping you make some better buying decisions by showing you what it takes to actually work with these products and put them together and how our family likes them. All right, so we have the beginnings of our frame right here that went together nicely. I said, let me get my next directions here. Read your directions. That's the cam, and then that's putting it in. It looks like they went ahead, and that's number seven. They went ahead and put on the little black uh, discs. Uh, it's not those, it's the other ones. Well, these right here, they come with the dowels. Those little black discs, they put them where the cams are right now. I'm not going to do that yet. Honestly, I'm not that worried about uh, the looks of that. So I'm just going to move on to step number three here. And we're going to be putting the tabletop, this part right here, on top of our frame that we just built. And then there's all these screws that go into it, which I should probably go get my screw gun <laughs> so that it doesn't take forever to get this in. In fact, let's do that. 
And while we're moving, let's go ahead and grab our screwdriver as well. So, uh, screwdriver, the, um, let's grab our big screwdriver so that we can tighten up those cams whenever we're done as well. Make sure that they're nice and good. I got a nice big fat tipped one, which is, I find is something that you're going to want for those. So something like that. Then we're going to need our screwdriver, which I keep right here. And we're going to need a bit and a battery. Come on. There we go. All right. Got everything we need now. Got this screwdriver a long time ago, not too long ago, probably two years ago, maybe. It's a solid screwdriver. It works really well. I actually used to work at Sears in the hardware department whenever I was in college, high school, college, somewhere around there. And uh, I've kind of been partial to the Craftsman brand, but. I definitely will use whatever works whenever it comes to tools. So, okay. Got my big, let's see, let me go ahead and see if these were tight enough. I'm just curious now. Yeah, that definitely fits a lot better into these cams. Definitely getting like a little tiny, probably like a 10% extra turn out of this. I don't know if that really matters or not, but may as well make them as tight as possible so that they're good. Okay, charged up battery. Open it up, let's get our drill bit in there. Oops, or I guess I should say my uh, screwdriver bit in there. Now, you wanna find the side of this with all of the pre-drilled holes. You'll see all these holes right here. Those are the small ones. There's big ones and there's small ones. So you want the small ones. I, I, you'll probably, oh yeah, y'all can see them right there. And we're going to uh, screw the top of this into here. Let's see, I'm gonna put this, and kind of move everything up. There we go. Now we have some room. Okay, let's see, let me check this again. And we want those to be down, it looks like. So on the top of, let me pull it out for you guys. On the top of this, piece right here, you'll see that there's these bolts. Can y'all see that? Y'all can't see that? Hello? Right there. There's these bolts. And um, those go the other way because that's where your legs are going to connect into and then we're going to put the legs on. So I want to flip this, I believe, to be... Hang on. I'm double checking myself because now that I'm looking at it, no, yeah, that's right, that's right, I think. Because that's gonna go like that. But where's the top? Hey, you do it, how's it going? Thanks for the follow on Amazon, definitely appreciate that. Okay, so I'm kind of confused because I'm not too sure if those bolts are supposed to be going down or not, I'm pretty sure that's for the legs right there, but it could also be for the tabletop as well. How does that tabletop? Okay, hang on. Let me look. Let me let, let me look through the manual for just a little bit. And another thing that's throwing me off too is that you have all these screws that you got to screw around this thing. And whenever you flip this thing over. you'll see that these screw holes are flush down into there so that they don't stick out. So that's making me think that this actually goes like this because the glass piece is gonna go on top and technically this is upside down right now. And then you still have these spots right here for the legs. So I'm pretty sure this goes upside down. I wish that they would have pointed that out better in this picture because the only way to really tell if this is correct is to go by these screw holes right here since these are the flush uh flush uh, free drilled holes so i'm glad i noticed that and i'm glad i was able to share that with you guys going good brother awesome man i'm glad you're doing good thanks for dropping in well, I'm, I'm doing something right now man you do it i'm doing it <laughs> 
All right, so I got my gun here. Now I just need to find the hardware for it. It's gonna be this one. It says nine and 10, right? Nine and 10, yep. Okay, so all the little felt pads are gonna go on later. Let me throw those on over here. And then we have all these screws right here. Nice black screws, so they match the color of our top right here. So let's go ahead and you don't do it. You do it. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to do it. You can come over and help. <laughs> okay. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tighten it all the way yet because I just want to get it nice and flush and get them all in. I'm going to start with the top. Start with the uh, sides first. And then I'll come back and do a couple on the top. And then I'm going to do the middles. Just kind of square everything off and make sure everything is in the correct hole right there. Have that there, that's what she said, everything in the correct hole. Okay, we got that there. I'm gonna put this one on up into here. Okay, that looks good all the way around. Now let's do this center hole right here, just to make sure we're squared all the way around. Like that. There we go. All right, now let's go back and do some of these other center holes right here. John, what you been up to lately? What's new with you? I'm curious. I don't know, John, as you do it from YouTube. Hey, Mike, how's it going? How you been? We have a new desk that we're putting together right here. So I'm very excited about this. Again, thanks to Bon Vivo for sending this to us so that we could uh, show you guys how to put this thing together. Y'all are looking for a good desk. Okay, we did step three, which is putting in all the screws. Got that. Now we want to do the legs, and there's the brace that goes in between there. So let's, let me move this out of the way. Assemble uh, the desk. Watching you assemble the desk. That's right. <laughs> All right, so we're done with this for now. Now we're gonna pull in our legs right here, and you have this uh, brace that goes in between. This is the other one. We just need to figure out what side is which side because we have F and C, and then the brace goes in between right there. So, is that F and C? Or is, no, F is this piece. The F is the middle, and then we have C and B. So we need that. Let's see, which one is this? Where's the little sticker? This is C, we'll see right there. And then this goes like this, and I believe, does it go like that? No, it does not, because those holes don't line up. Let's flip this here, look, y'all can come on up. <laughs> Your YouTube crush is going to pick up her son. <laughs> so we have, this, okay, hang on. Oh, we gotta, okay, I got it. We gotta flip this one like this, and we gotta flip this one like this. So much is going on, I'll DM you later. All right, man, sounds good. I appreciate you coming by the live stream, John. Hanging out, following on Amazon, you're awesome. Okay. So I believe this is correct. It's pointed outward, which is the way the leg should be. It's got the brace in the middle, cut to that side. Now we need to, oh no, this needs to flip in this way. We gotta do it this way. See, you always gotta double check your work. Always double check. All right, so we're gonna put cams, y'all can't see this. We're gonna put cams into these little holes right here. And then we're gonna have screw, long screws that go through here on either side that we have to tighten up with the Allen wrench. So, that, um, these guys right here, so you have these nice long screws that cut all the way through. Just like that. <laughs> John said, I'm the guy who puts everything together and realizes after installing the last screw that I have to take it all apart because I installed it backwards. <laughs> That's probably some truth for me too, honestly. 
So Mike wants to know how me and Krista met at a jewelry store. So it's actually quite a fun story. There's some styrofoam stuck in here. I'm trying to get it out. It's a fun story because uh, we came on at the same time at the jewelry store. And whenever we came on, they had room to keep one person on staff after the holidays ended. And so during the holidays, we were kind of like the top two that uh, for, the, for whenever we were there. And um, a cashier, because we were brought on as cashiers. We were fast and we were reliable and all that type of stuff. But there was only room for one person for the job. Chris, this was in the mall too. So, hang on, I'm making sure this fits. So, um, whenever, you know, after Christmas came around, uh, the plan, because Krista told me this after the fact, the plan was to keep her on and to let me go. But, at the Christmas party that happened a couple of weeks before, that was whenever Krista and I really hit it off. And we started talking just about movies and music and all that type of stuff. She had just gotten out of a really long relationship too. And um, so she wasn't really too anxious to get into a new relationship. But you know, I got those man charms. <laughs> and so, uh, she uh, actually talked to the manager of the store and because the position that they had available was a full-time position and she was uh, already working in the mall at a different store. She had another part-time job. So she basically held down two part-time jobs, one at the jewelry store and one at the CD place so that I uh, would be able to take the other half of that full-time position. So... You know, she wanted me to stay on, right? <laughs> and so uh, because of that, we were able to both stay on. We just split that full-time shift into two part-time positions. And um, it took her a few months to come around, but she realized that, you know, she wanted to hang out with me more and more since every day after that party, she uh, we never... Uh, stop talking to each other. We always had to see each other. And so uh, that's where it all began. And at the at that Christmas party, besides us just get, having some time to chat with each other, we we're talking about, you know, movies and music and all that type of stuff. She, uh, man, I don't know why this, I'm having such a hard time with this screw. Let me uh, hey, do like this. Hey, so um, while we were at that Christmas party, we also had like a, uh, a game of Twister that we all played together. And me and her were the last two on the Twister mat together. So it was kind of a, I don't know, it was kind of like a meant to happen type of thing, right? Maybe I did get this thing all the way in already. But, um, so later on down the line, you know, we're married and whatnot and we, uh, we, uh, I don't think we, I don't know, can't remember if we had kids yet, but her mom buys her a Christmas ornament every single year uh, that usually has some kind of meaning or is like a hallmark one that reminds her of her for whatever reason. And uh, the one that she got us one year was two people playing Twister. It was a Twister hallmark uh ornament which i thought was super fun i like how she put some thought behind that process so that was fun but yeah that's the story of how we met is that we were gonna be we were cashiers at zales and then uh we we kind of really started talking because before then before we started talking it was more of just like a high and by type of situation because like she would be getting off of working the cashier and then I would be getting on working the cashier. And that's our, our, our schedules were actually quite opposite of each other. So um, whenever uh, we actually got a chance to talk at that Christmas party, it was, uh, it, that was like our first like 
legit <laughs> long conversation, you know, get to know you type of thing. So um, that's how we met at the jewelry store, selling in some ice. <laughs> where, where all have you guys worked? Let me know in the comments some of the jobs that you guys have had. Hey, Ezid, how's it going? The glasses table, that's right. So we're putting this thing together right now. Uh, chatting it up with you guys, seeing what you guys are up to as we see how well this thing goes together. And we're talking about jobs right now, Ezid. Um, what, uh, what type of jobs have you held down? Or have you, I'm assuming you're my age, maybe. <laughs> I'm a dad, so I'm old. <laughs> But I only feel young. How long did you guys date before you got married? Mike asks. Um, let's see. We dated. We start. We met. The first time I ever saw her was like October 30th of 2020, 2002. I can't say that. And then uh, we got married April 15th, tax day of 2006. So it was about three and a half years, I'd say, about, somewhere around there. So I'd say that's a pretty good amount of time. What do you think? Ah. Okay, so we got our brace on right here on both sides. Let's go on over to our next direction right here. And we have, okay, we want to put the glass piece. Is that the glass piece? No. We want to put this piece, the black piece, um, upside down and put this on top. And then we're going to put, we're going to mount that basically. We're going to mount these, these legs to this table right here, to the top of the table right here. So let me go ahead and pull this on in, upside down, so like this, like that. And then this, uh, okay, this is something that you need to know. This is the closed part right here, and this is the open part right here, because you can put other things through here uh, to use as like a secondary desk, uh, you know, kind of st store things underneath. So you want to make sure that your brace right here is towards the back of the desk right here. So I'm just going to simply take this, and we're going to turn it. This is going to go just like this. And then we just have to bolt. Did I do that right? Hold on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Something's not right. <sighs> this is not lining up. This is not lining up. See, look, if I put these bolts lined up right here and right there, this doesn't line up. Can y'all see that? Oh man. Uh, you know what that means? Is that it's supposed to go the other way. Hold on. Oh God. Let me check it. Watch. Wait. Where's the bolts for that? Huh. What in the world? This, I'm very confused right now. Okay, this doesn't make any sense. Maybe you guys can help me. Because, what in the world, how does that work? Hold on, let me, let me double check this. They have, okay. I come here. You got more patience than me. I would have hired some furniture assembler. <laughs> I couldn't build you a 90 degree angle with two pieces of wood. Yeah, honestly, I'm not that good either. <laughs> oh, man. All righty. So we're going to have to see if we can figure this thing. out. Let's see. Um, what did I do? I did something wrong here. Oh, oh, I see it. I didn't. I didn't mess it up. They should have. They should have mentioned this, that this black piece fits inside the, uh, inside, let me show you guys, hang on, okay, so we gotta put this thing back over, now this makes sense, we have it right, we have it right, 
we're gonna do it like this, but look, there's two sets of holes right here. There's some up top here and some down here. So these right here are for the glass top. I can't see that. These right here are for the glass top. This right here is to screw into this thing. So I have to slide this into here. Just like this. I think this is right. I gotta say, I don't remember doing this whenever I assembled the uh, assembler heads last time. Okay, so this goes in here, lift up, screw. I think that's right. Is that right? Is it pull this on over here? You wanna pull it together? Okay, so let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. Okay. We gotta, might have to look at our thing here again. Ha, it's not just me. Get the table saw out and cut out a section of the table. That's right. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of confused here. This is saying H. H, is H the glass piece? Oh, wait. I'm supposed to put H on first. Yeah. And then I slide the black piece through. So I gotta, okay, I got it. Okay, we gotta do this. Hang on, hang on. Take this out. Whoop. Okay, this is making sense. Okay, that goes there. We pull this back. We need our glass piece now. This is my favorite part. It's a nice cool glass piece that makes the top of the desk. Put some little things on here to keep it from breaking, damaging. Okay. All right, we got that. Now, this goes on top of here. And now we need to figure out what kind of bolts we need to bolt that down with. Now this is making sense. Yes, we didn't screw it up. <laughs> All right. So we need for this one, the shorter bolts and the Allen wrench, which is in this little baggie right here. And so let's go ahead. Uh, yeah, okay, that sounds right. So let me line this up. There's one right there. I'm gonna go ahead and like kind of start them just to keep it, um, just to keep it kind of uh, stable. I don't want to tighten them all the way just yet just to make sure that we are good and everything is nice and level and solid and all that mess. Hey, Trini, how's it going? Thanks for clicking that follow button on Amazon. Definitely appreciate that so much. You are awesome. So we're assembling this desk right here. It's called the Bon Vivo uh, Writing Desk. They sent this to me so that I could do this video for you guys. So hopefully y'all are finding it useful. And thank you to them for partnering with me. It's a partnership through Thrashio who kind of works with them. So I'm gonna drop this one on in. Just gotta line it up and nice and neat. Get this screw to go on through. Okay. This is why I didn't want to tighten them all the way because sometimes whenever you're trying to get the last screw in, it needs to just, just fit in there perfectly. But now that we got them all in, I want to go through and tighten them up to make sure that everything is good. It's not going to wobble. So this should be great, just like that. And this one tightened up mm, just like that. It's a gaming table or cook. Uh, it's actually more of like a, a desk, like a writing table type of thing. You could use it as like a homework table. It's nothing uh, in particular. It's got a glass top on it, which is super cool, but it also has like this, well here, let me put it together and then you can see what it does. But it's like a little, a little uh, shelf, I guess, if you will, that uh, slides on through here to kind of finish it off. So let me, this goes through here, just like this. This is gonna go right on up into here. Do I need to flip this thing the right side before I screw it in? I don't think so. Yeah, it's 
can go up like that. That's just gonna be difficult. I guess once I get them in, I kind of get them started, it should hold a little bit easier. Let me get my Allen wrench. Is that the right one? That's not the right one. I need the bigger one. Okay. So this is a super cool desk. I like the look of it. I think it's a really, really nice uh, looking desk. Great for kids. They have like homework to do, or if you want to use it as like a living room desk, you have a computer for your living room. It's uh, stylish enough, I think. It kind of has this modern design look to it as well. I'll put links around the video and whatnot if you guys want to go and check them out. Come on. This is probably the hardest part because you have to hold up this black piece so you can get the screw, or I should say the bolt, into the uh, hole there. Okay, so I'm going to do this one right here. I'm just going to screw this all the way in like that. Okay, and then we have one more right here. I think this should be done except for the pads that you can put on the bottom, which we probably want to do so that uh, we don't scratch our floor. Okay, let's see. Yep, put the pads on and you're good to go. So let's see, we have these four, comes with four little gray pads right there. These just go right on top. So this only took like 40 minutes to put together. And I spent some time chatting with you guys. I also didn't have all my tools that I need that I needed. I had to go get my drill and those screwdrivers. So I probably could have done this in a good, well, maybe 30 minutes or so. That's actually not too bad. And I thought I messed up a couple of times, but then I realized that I didn't. Yes! <laughs> so very excited about that. Let's see. Hey, Ulyssa. Thank you for following me on Amazon. Man, I'm getting all the followers today on Amazon. Thank y'all for that. I appreciate that so much. That's uh, one uh, thing that I'm trying to grow these days is my Amazon account. And uh, the fact that you guys are coming and hanging out, and hitting that follow button, definitely appreciate that a lot. So you, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta hit that follow button, that follow button. <laughs> Fun with the graphics. Okay, so let me get this last pad on and then we're gonna flip this. We're gonna put our hand down, flip it, and reverse it. It's a perfect chicken wear now. And you guys from the 90s. All right, here we go. The big reveal. Get all my stuff out of the way. Now, because it does have this glass top table, it is a little bit heavier than uh than some of the other normal tables and whatnot. So that's one thing that you definitely wanna be uh, wary about. Um, you know, just the glass is gonna weigh a little bit more because it's a nice thick glass. Let me see, let me sign back into here. Make sure we got that going. All right, here we go. You ready to see it? Let's see if it falls apart on me. <laughs> All right, let's flip that up. Okay. Check it out. Oh, that looks so good. So this is what I was talking about. You have like this really cool shelf area right here to be able to put the stuff that you don't want on top of the desk, you know, important papers, uh, manuals that you might want to get to later, a book you're reading, um, you put, you know, a sound machine or something like that. You put some fun lights in the back. That'd be kind of cool because all the way around the desk, you can see all the way back there, that's all nice and open. So if you did, want, if you had like a lot of cords, if you wanted to use it for as a gaming desk, you could stick all your cords going through the back there. The whole back row there is empty. So you could easily uh, put cords back there. And then another cool thing about this thing too, is that it, since it has this back piece right here to kind of close off the entire thing right here, you could easily put just a, a, a surge protector, a power strip right here, just with some like sticky things or whatever. That way you don't have cords all over the place. You could just plug them in right into the back of here. So I really, really like this desk. I think it looks super cool. It's going to be perfect for our new office here. So 
like I said, if you guys want to check this thing out, uh, I'll put some links around the video. You guys go and grab y'all one of those because it's a solid piece of, uh, of desk right there. The only thing that I could say to make it even more solid would be whenever you're putting together your box, the black piece right here, uh, if you wanted to put like some glue at all of the connection points, that'd probably help it adhere uh, better. Um, and then maybe put glue like underneath here just to keep the, uh, the legs and all that as one piece. So all in all, solid desk right there. Definitely go and grab y'all one, one of those. Again, thank you to these guys for sending me this desk so that I could do this unboxing and assembly video for y'all. If y'all want to see some of the other videos that we've done, definitely go and find some of those if you like. I just want to hang out with me as I put stuff together <laughs> or uh, if you're looking for other products from a dad's perspective. So thank y'all for watching and dad out. Let me do it this way. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to stop. End. There we go. End. But wait, I have to stop here first. <laughs>